Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're going to talk about smart plugs versus smart light bulbs versus smart light switches, so that if you are planning a smart home, you understand how these smart devices work and which will work best in your home and kind of how they should be placed in your home so that you can have smart control of your devices. So what I've got here is some smart light switches over on this side. I've got a couple of smart plugs here. And then I've got some smart light bulbs and actually some smart light strips too as well. So most of these devices will allow you to control your lighting systems. Now the smart plugs will actually allow you to control most things that are plugged into them. But let's go over some of the advantages and disadvantages of some of these smart devices. So I'm going to start with smart plugs. So we've got a couple different, but for the most part, they all operate the same way. This smart plug will plug into your standard outlet and then it connects to your Wi-Fi network and allows you to have remote control of whatever you plug into it. So you could plug a lamp into this smart plug or smart outlet. You could plug a fan into this and then you can control it from your phone. Now, most smart plugs and smart outlets will also let you connect them to Google Home or Alexa so you can have voice command control of this smart plug. So if you were to connect this to Alexa, you could then say, Alexa, turn on my lamp or Alexa, turn off my fan. So one of the places that I have these in my home is on the nightstands on the side of the bed. I like to sleep with a fan on sometimes, so I can say at the end of the day, Alexa, turn on the fan, and it will turn that fan on and create some ambient noise. Now, you can also use it for lamps in the room. So at the end of the day, when I'm laying in bed and want to go to sleep, I just tell Alexa to turn off the devices that I have connected to it. Now, one caveat to these is that you will need to leave the device on that you want to control. So if you have a lamp you will need to turn that switch to the on position on the lamp so that it will be controlled by the plug. Because if it's off, even if you turn the remote control smart plug on, it won't turn on the lamp or the fan. So you need to make sure whatever you plug into it, you have on. And then you can control it from your phone or with Google Voice or Google Home commands. I find that it's actually much easier to use Google Home and Alexa than the app. And once you get used to that routine, it's much more convenient to control your devices than move around the room and turn lamps on or off. And one of the biggest benefits of smart plugs is that you can move them anywhere you've got an outlet and plug them in. They also tend to be the least expensive option of any of these three smart devices. They're typically less expensive than smart light switches and smart light bulbs, and they're super easy to install. You just plug them in and start setting them up on the Wi-Fi app so that you can control them with your phone or smart voice commands. Now, if you're looking for a smart plug, the majority will have Google Home and Alexa compatibility, but some of you might also want Siri compatibility, which is a little bit more rare. So just make sure if you want that, that you select a switch that is Siri compatible as well as Google Home and Alexa compatible. And it turns out that most Siri compatible smart plugs are also compatible with Google Home and Alexa. Now the next type of smart device that we're gonna talk about is smart light bulbs. So I've got a Philips Hue smart light bulb here and there are a wide variety of smart light bulbs. Now some smart light bulbs will connect directly to your Wi-Fi network so that you can control them from your phone and they're also compatible with Google Home or Alexa or Siri. However, the Philips Hue smart light bulbs, which is one of the most popular, do require a small hub that gets connected to your Wi-Fi router, and then it's controlled through that hub to the smart light bulbs. Now, one of the advantages of smart light bulbs is that they are incredibly easy to install. You just go ahead and unscrew your existing light bulb and screw in your new smart bulb, and you are ready to go, and you will have Wi-Fi control of your smart light bulb from your phone or a Google Voice Assistant or Alexa Voice Assistant if you connect it. Now, one of the unique things about the Philips Hue smart light bulbs that I really like is that they have these remote control switches that can connect to the Philips Hue light bulbs. Now, why this is unique and important is because what tends to happen when you screw in these smart light bulbs is if you have them connected to a light fixture that is switched, if someone turns off that switch, it cuts off the power to the light bulb and it will no longer be remotely controlled. 
So you can leave that switch always on and then use this remote control wireless smart battery powered switch that will control Philips Hue and you'll have smart home control just as if you had a smart switch installed without any additional wiring. But it's important to make sure that you leave that existing light switch that this is connected to on. So there are a variety of different methods to do that, but a great way that I've seen to do that is buy a small plastic cover that attaches to the front of your wall switch cover plate and will keep the light switch on. It's just a little piece of plastic that keeps the light switch in place so nobody turns it off. Now, another unique feature of these smart light bulbs is that many smart light bulbs are dimmable but also have a full range of colors. So the Philips Hue smart light bulbs allow a huge range of millions of different colors from blue to red to yellow and every variation and shade of color in between, which is unique and some people really like that for mood lighting. Philips Hue also has light strips that you can plug in that will work similar to the smart light bulbs. Now, once again, if you plan on installing a smart light bulb in your home and you put it in a lamp, you're gonna need to make sure that you also leave that lamp on so that you can control it with your phone or voice commands from Alexa or Google Home. If that lamp is turned off, there's no power getting to light bulb and it can't be remotely controlled. So that is one disadvantage of the smart light bulbs. Overall though, they are a simple installation and having a wide variety of colors and adjustments that you can do with a smart light bulb is something that appeals to a lot of people. There's tons of different styles of these smart light bulbs, everything from smaller light fixtures to larger light fixtures. And now I've even seen some of those Edison style architectural bulbs that are smart light bulbs. So choose one that works for you and provides enough light. And if you want that color capability, just make sure you look for that in the smart light bulb that you choose. One place that I've found that smart light bulbs have a great application is if you have an existing light fixture that's one of those ceiling mounted pull chain light fixtures, you can eliminate the pull chain by turning on the light fixture and then screwing this in and putting one of these remote control wall switches up and then it's like you have a real switch rather than a pull chain hanging down in a closet or a location where you can't reach it. So the advantages of smart light bulbs are easy installation. Now, one disadvantage is that they can get pretty pricey because most people have a lot of light bulbs in their home. So all of a sudden, if you're paying 40 or $50 for a smart light bulb and you have 30 or 40 smart light bulbs that you're going to install, things can get pretty pricey pretty quickly. So that's something to consider. And there is a less expensive option to control more than one light bulb if you've got a series of light fixtures. And that brings us to our third option, which is smart light switches. So smart light switches are designed to replace your existing light switches. Now these smart light switches are designed to connect to your Wi-Fi network so that you can have remote control of your light switches. So you just take out your existing light switch and install a new smart switch and it's gonna give you remote control from your phone. And most of them also have compatibility with Google Home or Alexa and some even have HomeKit and Siri compatibility so that you can control them with some of the most popular voice assistants. What's really nice about smart light switches is that they work just like a normal switch. So you can turn it on and off when you press it, but then you can also remotely control it from your phone or with your voice when you want. Now, smart switches do require the most work for installation, but once they are complete, they give you the most reliable option because unlike smart plugs or smart light bulbs, they operate just like a normal switch. So you don't need to worry about leaving the switch on or off and providing no power or not enough power to that device. It will work just like a normal switch. It just has remote control. Now, a couple things to note about smart switches. They are a permanent installation while these other two options can be moved. So if you're a renter, maybe you wanna use more smart plugs and smart light bulbs so that you can take them with you. The installation of a typical smart switch takes anywhere from about 15 to 30 minutes. And we've got all kinds of videos that show you how to install smart light switches if that's something you're interested in. So check out our channel or some of the links below. Now, if you do plan on installing a smart light switch, one really important thing to know is if your existing home wiring, your junction box wiring, 
has a neutral wire in it. So you can see on the back of this Wemo smart light switch, it does require a neutral wire, that white wire. Well, the Lutron Cassetta smart light switches do not require a neutral wire. Well, what is a neutral wire? Most homes built after 1980 will have a neutral wire in the switch box. Not all of them will, and even some built before 1980 will have a neutral wire. But the neutral wire is typically a white wire in that switch box, which helps provide a continuous source of power for the Wi-Fi chips inside of these smart light switches. Now, not every single type of smart light switch requires a neutral wire, but the majority of them do. And if you don't have one, you really gotta go with this Lutron Cassetta smart light switch that does not require a neutral wire. If you wanna learn how to identify a neutral wire, go ahead and look at the video below. We'll include a link to that that helps you understand what a neutral wire is and how to identify one in your existing switch box. You should know that before you select any type of smart switch because it will make your life a lot easier if you get a smart switch that is compatible with your existing wiring. So now what do I have in my home or what do I like the most? I tend to lean towards smart light switches, using them anywhere I can where I have an existing light switch because they tend to be more economical than smart light bulbs. If you have three or four light fixtures connected, you don't have to buy three or four smart light bulbs. You can just buy one switch and it will control all of those light bulbs from that one switch that's connected to the same circuit. Also, it's a more permanent installation and I have found them to be more trouble free than using smart light bulbs and having all kinds of covers on your light switches to make sure that no one turns off the light switch and cuts off power to smart bulbs. So I prefer using smart light switches where possible. Then I have a mixture of smart plugs for things that I commonly plug into outlets like lamps or other accessories that I wanna be able to control with my voice or from my phone. Also, another advantage of smart plugs is that they are very economical to control devices. Now, I do have a few smart light bulbs and some of them have different color changing capabilities, which is nice if you wanna watch TV and have a certain color light or ambient lighting for a room without being overwhelming. And like I said, I also have installed these in closets that have that pull chain where I wanted to eliminate that pull chain and have a smart light bulb. What I have found is if I have an instance where I can use a smart light switch instead of a smart light bulb, I will typically go the smart light switch route. Now, overall, any of these are good options for smart home control and to be able to control your smart lighting and remotely control devices that you want from your phone or with voice assistants like Alexa, Google Home, and Siri. So I hope you now have a better understanding of how you can use these in different applications within your home. Thank you for watching. If you want to support us, please subscribe, give us that thumbs up, and click on any of the links below if you want to learn more about smart homes or give us your support. Thank you.